It's Friday, April 19th, 2024. I'm Jim Allen, and this is No Time to Rock. This channel provides Gen Xers with the latest releases from the legendary classic, alternative, and indie rockers from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Collective Soul announced a new album arriving May 17th, Here to Eternity. It features the single Mother's Love. You can check that out in this week's playlist. Gravity Stairs is on the way from Crowded House. The second single from the album, Teenage Summer, is also on this week's playlist. Slash teams up with Chris Stapleton for a cover of the early Fleetwood Mac classic, Oh Well. Orgy of the Damned is on the way May 17th. Scottish indie pop act Bell and Sebastian released the previously discarded track from 2023's late developers, What Happened to You, Son? The band felt that the album had one song too many and this track was randomly selected for deletion. Portishead singer Beth Gibbons releases her second single from the forthcoming full-length Lives Outgrown. Be sure you're setting down before you check out the video for Reaching Out in this week's playlist. Last Dance from Riverside Rockers Alien Ant Farm is out now. Their first album in nine years, Mantras, is out next Friday. Nick Cave and Warren Ellis compose and perform the soundtrack to Back in Black, the soon-to-be-released Amy Winehouse biopic Check out Song for Amy in this week's playlist. Well, the one you can't ignore this week, obviously, is Dark Matter from Pearl Jam. Love them or hate them, they just keep going. 11 tracks in black vinyl, CD, or a deluxe CD Blu-ray package, which includes an immersive Dolby Atmos mix, as well as a high-resolution audio stereo mix. There are some different color versions of the vinyl piece hitting your local record store, tomorrow during Record Store Day 2024. The Best of Bruce Springsteen is released today from Columbia Records, spanning 1973 to 2020, but Springsteen fans know you can't really cover a lot of territory with only 18 tracks. So if you got no Bruce in your collection, this is a good sample platter to take a look at to begin with maybe. It's on two LPs or one CD. The digital collection features 31 songs. Still not really enough. It all comes down to this. The 13th studio album from English post-punk band A Certain Ratio arrives today on vinyl and CD. Eno, the new documentary about legendary producer Brian Eno, releases its 17-track soundtrack today on one CD or two LPs. Interestingly enough, this generative film is different every time it's shown. The Morrison Project, from Billy Idol rhythm guitarist for the last 15 years, Billy Morrison, arrives today. Idol is among the guests on The Endeavor, which also features Ozzy Osbourne, Linda Perry, John Five, and several others. Subscribe! No FX, the band that released the second longest punk song ever recorded, the 18 and a half minute track, The Decline, which if you think about it is so not punk that it's pretty punk, dropped their new EP today. It's called Half Album. It features five tracks, including I'm a Rat, which you can check out in this week's playlist. And one more five-track release arrives today, Tarantula Heart from The Melvins is finally here on vinyl and CD. The UV edition of Dark Side of the Moon's 50th Anniversary Remaster is new from Pink Floyd this week. It's a limited edition, crystal clear, 2LP, 180-gram set of the classic album featuring UV artwork printed on the non-groove side. The set features the prism spectrum seen through the playable side with the vinyl, only 2,000 copies of a limited edition 180-gram translucent red vinyl pressing of 1985's Soul to Soul from Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble drops today. It's the 30th anniversary of Watusi from The Wedding Present. The Dream Pop Classic is reissued today on 180-gram colored vinyl. The 2LP and 1CD set is enhanced with non-album tracks and alternate versions. OMD's release, Punishment of Luxury, is reissued on 180-gram blue-colored vinyl today. It's a 3LP green splatter vinyl reissue of Life is Killing Me from goth metal rocker's Typo Negative. The nine-track collection, Lemme Forever, rather concisely celebrates the late rock legend by gathering a cross-spectrum of tracks from Vickers, Hawkwind, Motorhead, and more. The seven inch vinyl only release Summer of Hate, Love Song from the Dandy Warhols is available today. On orange vinyl, it's a country on the click from England's The Fall. Once called the most prolific band of the British post-punk movement, this is the original version of what was eventually the band's 23rd studio album, the real New Fall album in 2003. And for good measure, their first album, 1979's Live at the Witch Trials, is reissued on 180-gram black vinyl, featuring the original U.S. artwork and track listing. 
A pair of early Genesis classics are reissued on 180-gram 2LP vinyl editions, 1971's Nursery Crime, the first album to feature Phil Collins, and 1972's Foxtrot, featuring the noted epic Supper's Ready. Limited 180-gram gold editions of 1995's Dogs of War and 2001's Killing Ground are new from veteran British metal legends Saxon. 2011's Kill All Control from Dokken guitarist George Lynch and 2008's Solitary from Dokken singer Don Dokken are both reissued on vinyl today. Does that seem like a coincidence to you? Support the channel by using the Amazon links in the description. Follow the No Time to Rock 2024 playlist on Spotify for instant access to all of the feature tracks on the channel. This week's curated playlist and another episode of No Time to Rock are just a click away. And whatever you do, however you do it, don't you ever stop rocking.